Hello and welcome back here for today's special team edition driver spotlight. Today we are taking a look at the iTandem ESDA team. So big thank you to iTandem. Definitely a good group of guys for today's team spotlight. We're going to be taking a look at three of their iTandem ESDA drivers. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll just find the description box below and let's get to it. So when I said I had a special for today here on Friday, beginning of FD season, that is this team spotlight of iTandem. You guys know I've worked and driven with iTandem before and iTandem Maddy. So today we're taking a look at their three drivers that are in the SDA. The first one is Nick Harrington's purpose-built S15 for ESDA and potentially VDC in the future. So it's just a basic S15 with some underglow and some really nice gold bronze wheels. Definitely a super clean car and livery, of course, on point. So this is the first of three cars we're going to take a look at today. So a little bit longer of an episode because you know we're taking them all to Irwindale, but we are on the streets of Long Beach here today where the first round of ESDA is. So first, credit where credit is due on this S15. It is credit 3D model is from iTandem Everyday, the body kit, ACM platforms, and RH um, Fenton. And the wheels are Nismo GTL M3 wheels, car physics, Chris Witowski, VDC driver. Noticing a lot of people are using his physics. It might be a spec thing. I didn't really look at the rules of ESDA, so the uh, car physics are modified by iTandem Addy, the custom 2J sound done by iTandem Addy and a car was put together by Cozy Designs and you know some 3D modeling uh, <clears throat> by Derpy Designs so we're gonna go full send in the first car here for today once again a big thank you to Addy and all the other guys from iTandem Nick Harrington allowing me access to their cars here for today's episode so we got a big old fireball from the back of this car. So we got to heat up these tires. Like I said, we are on the ESDA streets of Long Beach circuit because that is where round one is going to be. I cannot see, just like Forza. It's a problem with running third person sometimes for these videos. You can't really see some parts of the track. And I have a feeling that's going to happen on initiation if I'm that close to the wall, just like it was in Forza Motorsport 7. So, S15, Long Beach, I tandem. Let's do it. Kind of a gentle initiation for the first run. Oh, okay, trying to gauge grip levels. All right, so it's definitely got a lot of grip to bring it all the way out to the wall. Okay, so this was a very off the line run. I feel like a complete and total noob here on Long Beach with that run, but first run out, all these different cars, been driving a lot of cars recently in this week for the spotlight and everybody's cars are very different, which is, Something I'm extremely, you know, happy to do. And, you know, we're just going to go back to pits, get some freshies, get some fresh skins on here. It's something I really love doing. And, you know, once again, a big thank you to all the drivers that have given me access to the USDA Pro Cars for these driver spotlights. You know, it's definitely a lot of fun. And I've been enjoying doing this series. So, another run here in the S15. Try and get a better entry. Okay, that was a little short. We did not quite stretch it out. Okay, we kind of did, but we, we put that away too long. And nowhere near the inner clip. So, these drivers have definitely been driving their cars and tuning their cars to their likings. And, you know, everybody's driving style is different. And if doing this driver spotlight hasn't proven that, Today's episode will definitely prove that. I have three cars from the same team that are totally different driving styles. I've tested the cars a little bit and gotten to, you know, to feel them. Even though they're based off similar physics, they're very different because each driver is different. So, you know, the fact that I can not totally crash is a plus in my book. So we're going to go one more run here in the S15. Then we're going to switch up to another car for today's spotlight in the team I tandem. Spotlight, uh, we hit a cone. Okay, that was a little bit better of an entry. Kind of where we need to be. Okay, that was 
honestly a much better run than all the other runs so a successful run I feel in the car we probably zeroed out by not completing the finish line so big thank you to Nick Harrington for the access of his F2 team we're gonna see this car again at Irwindale or we're gonna go take a look at another car here for today so for those of you guys who may know these guys, not by their real names, but by their iTandem names, Nick is iTandem Froze. We have Matt here, who is iTandem Profit. So his S13 right here hits close to home with me because I am an S chassis lover, and the 13 was one of the first cars I drove, and this model is absolutely stunning. Those work wheels and the way the body kit and everything, the flat diffusion everything, it's definitely an amazing looking car. And once again, you know, the livery on point, iTandem always coming out with amazing looking liveries and their team cars have always been great from, you know, Forza and, you know, up now into a set of Corsa and things like that. So a few credits where credits are due here for this S13 and we got to pull that up. So Matthew um, is also iTandem Profit. So definitely in a very very amazing s13 we have yellow days s13 rims unknown so they're very cool rims they're kind of unknown though um i believe addy you know has a little more information on that so the modeling was done by itanium every day the mapping and texturing of course also done by itanium every day colliders done by itanium every day if you notice these cars were all built from the itanium guys so they all got together to build all their cars the paint was done by Infamous, which is, I'm assuming, the same people who did the paint on the other cars. And then Original Physics, Chris Witowski's, and Modified by Addy, and the sound also by Addy. So Addy's definitely been getting in and doing a lot more physics and sounds and things of that nature. So S13 is next up here on the streets of Long Beach. Do a little heat up with the tires. Trying not to crash these guys' cars, because, oh, as I say that, we wall tap the back of the 13. Sorry, Prophet. So we're going to go full send in the 13, and we have one final car that we're going to test here at Long Beach. And, of course, we're going to take all of these cars to Irwindale. See what we can do here in the 13. Fourth gear rollout. Oh, I stalled it. Need to stay a little bit more in boost. Oh, that was really close to that wall. Ah, uh, that ending part was not bad. I thought that was totally going to be a bad run. But that ending part wasn't too, too terrible. So. We're going to go another full run. Luckily, we can drive backwards to get back to the starting line and not, you know, penalize ourselves. Rip if I actually got penalized. This is bringing me back to the Forza Motorsport 7 days when we were on Long Beach doing these open lobbies and testing and doing stuff like that for, VD, for you know, ESDA and, you know, SSR and all this, other competitions I used to compete in. Definitely want to get more into competing, so you guys will see that here on the channel very shortly. So let's try and actually not stall the car out this time. Gotta stay in boost is the main thing. Oh, sorry, Prophet. Like I said, a little bit of a wall tap. Too much of a wall tap to come back from that. But we will finish the run off. Definitely enjoying how this 13 is handling. It's very similar to, I guess, how it would handle some my personal driving style, which is not super snappy, but snappy when you need it to be. A lot of the cars that I've been running have been very snappy, which is not, I guess you would say, my driving style. It's a new style that I'm starting to get more and more into. They're just boulevard of that cone. It's fine. So we're going to go one more run in this car, and then we're going to pull out the car that I say rip to headphone users because you're going to need to turn it down for the next car. So one more run in the 13. Can't see. Perfect entry then. It seems to be our final runs are our better runs of all. This is actually a very good run. I would take that run in a heartbeat. A little wall tap at the end and tanked it in the front. 
So we're gonna take a look at the last car in this I Tandem ESDA team. So make sure you guys turn your headphones down if you're wearing headphones, because this car will blow you out your headphones. So the final car for today's episode is that of I Tandem Addies. Very aggressive, very loud skyline. So when I say very aggressive, very loud, I'm just gonna start this thing up and you guys are gonna hear it. So if you have headphones, turn them down a little bit. Ready for this? Hold on. This car is so loud, we're gonna dumb the audio down a smidge because I don't really want to blow everybody's eardrums out. Addy, your cars are always a little extra when it comes to sound. So take a look at Addy's car. It's definitely a really cool R33.4, I guess you would say, as he words it, because it's an R33 rear end with a R34 front. So a little bit credit where credit is due on this car. I definitely like the light up by Tandem logo in the front and all the liveries and everything. Credit where credit is due and some information on the car. So I Tandem Addy, his cars are always a little extra. And this is a R33.4. So a little bit of information on the car on why it is the way it is if you haven't guessed. So the front end, the R34 front end is from the um, Shuto Revival Project or Shitoko Revival Project. The R33 rear end is from Remo, uh, Remco um, and it was by SPR and triple sevens all the information obviously on screen because you know sometimes I stumble on words and rims were done by iTandem every day modeling done by iTandem Jack and KNC cosmic mapping and texturing done by BDCZ and colliders from iTandem Addy paint once again from infamous original physics and modified physics from iTandem Addy and of course this aggressive sound from iTandem Addy as well so we're gonna go full set on this car we had to turn the audio down a lot. So I didn't, oh gosh. Addy's car's got a really heavy clutch. I mean, this is louder than that X-15. So we're gonna go full send in Addy's car. Addy's car definitely extra, as he always is. So let's go full send. entry not expecting it to snap the way it did oh I should have went in the third so and you did tell me to run a 4-1 gear ratio but I feel like 4-1 is not working super correct for obviously my driving style so we're gonna go back to pits we're going to adjust we're gonna go to a 4-3 gear ratio Look, I installed the car. With a 4-3 gear ratio, I didn't install the car. So we're going to do give another full send here, and then we're going to take all these cars to Irwindale. Hopefully we can get a full run on Addy's car. Kind of a lazy entry there. I almost stalled the car, but we're good. Not a half bad run in his car, like I said, you guys have noticed, these three cars, same team, original base physics, totally different. The way the cars react are all different. So we're going to give one final run in Addy's car, hopefully we can do another full pull like we have in the other guys' cars, and then we're going to hit up Irwindale. This car's just so loud. Cut that a little short, but we'll take it. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hang that out there. Very short. Very cut that really short. But we managed to not wreck the car. So let's head up to Irwindale to test these cars on the banks and uh, see if we can't get a little rowdy on the wall. So once again, a big thank you to I Tandem Addy I Tandem Pros and I Tandem Profit for letting me do, get the chance to drive these amazing ESDA Pro cars. I Tandem, definitely a team that I've loved working with and going to continue to work with here in the future, hopefully. So, 
I figured we'd bring Addy's car because we're already in it, and my audio was already queued down so we don't blow your ears up. So, we're going to get one or two runs per car here. Like I said, bigger episode today, Team Spotlight. Definitely super glad to do this for these guys. This, these cars are insane, and the guys are great guys too. Fourth gear rollout. Massage it up to the wall. Oh, that car got a little more angle on it than I thought it would right there. I hang that out a little bit. My oh, tandem. Addy's car always wanted to do almost a backwards entry. Okay, so it kind of starts to snap mid transition. So, got to be mindful of that. Because I noticed when the boost fully kicks in, the car's just like, nope, I'm just going to kick this way or I'm going to kick this way. So, like I said, definitely very different style driving on all three of these cars, but these cars are incredible. And I, yeah, the sound of this car is insane. Probably one of my favorite sounding cars so far. Can't see, that means we're perfect on the wall. There we go. Not as deep as I'd like to be to this section, but gotta make sure we clutch kick when we come off. A nice, decent run in Addy's R33.4. We may have hurt it though. I think we may have hurt the car. Sorry, Addy. I may have done some engine damage. Uh, I do apologize, but uh, you can have the car back. Hope you can fix it before ESDA. So let's switch to the next car. Take another one of these iTandem cars out here on the banks of Irwindale. So we are bringing out iTandem Frozen S15 to try and tackle the bank. Once again, this car looks like it's going to be a fourth gear river here on the bank. Let's see if we can't do a full run without crashing. We didn't crash Addy's car, so goal is to not crash these cars. Medium to high line, massaging it up later. Definitely very different if you notice. It doesn't snap as much as Addy's car. As I say that, we go full backwards. Oh, we almost wrecked the car. As I say that, we go full backwards. I, you know, I gotta keep my mouth. It's like the announcer's curse. You know, you're doing good, and the next thing you know, uh, rip. So we're gonna reset that. All right, we're gonna go and try and reset that now that we know the car's gonna do that. I was ready for it this time. Didn't go where I wanted to go though, but I think we got this. All oh, the, the hip kind of messed me up a little bit. I hope that uh, we can get a good, perfect run with this car before we switch to the next one. I know I want a clean full pull like we did with Addy's car. Gotta do Rose's car justice. Uh, hopefully we have enough tires to run another run, but we're gonna find out. We'll send. Oh, we're low on tires. Tell you that already. Yep, we definitely do not have tires to finish this off. But we're gonna finish at least the inner bank where we screwed up last time. There we go. So <laughs> I think successful ish runs in the 15. Definitely like how this car drives. So we got one more car to try, so let's go switch it up. The so final car here at Irwindale is Itanum Profit and his S13, quietest car of the group. So it's a little bit ending the video on a little bit of a quiet note, but hopefully not a quiet note when it comes to the run here with his car. Irwindale, definitely good or bad sometimes. Some days it's good, sometimes it's bad. Today it's not too, too bad for us. Oh yeah. Uh, it's, uh, that's definitely what I'm liking right now. 
Like I said, at Long Beach, this car is very similar to my style of driving, which, oh yeah, we're we're kind of locking it in with this car. Province 13. Maybe the quietest, but could be the deadliest right now in my in my hands anyways. I know the guys from my tandem, once again, a big thank you to all of them for giving me the chance to drive these cars. All of them in their individual cars are nothing to be reckoned with. They're definitely hard charging drivers. But for me, you know, driving all these different cars, I gotta I gotta say one is similar to my style, and of course it's gotta be the 13 because my love of 13s and of course the driving style is very similar so a little bit smoother as we can see kind of getting up there on the bank nice flick bring it up to the wall massage it a little wall tap nothing major save that so i think that'll do it here for this team episode of i tandem big thank you to the i tandem guys and everybody that made these cars possible they all did an amazing job Looking forward to seeing these guys compete in ESDA. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll just follow in the description box below. If you guys want to get your cars in driver's spotlight, you know what to do. Message me on Instagram and or Discord, and you, we can get your car in a driver's spotlight. So, as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.